From Harrington, Maine to Arlington Cemetery, Virginia, wreaths across America spread patriotism with a simple, elegant gift. The wreaths actually represent the veteran, and some of them will have flags on them representing the branches of the service, POW, MIA, and the uh, Merchant Marines um, that they now recognize as part of the service. And they represent to me a complete circle of life. Supporters, young and old, of pedigree and prestige, gathered to witness the small but powerful act to honor our veterans. Supporting our troops is a responsibility that we have as Americans. So the week-long journey included solemn ceremonies at cemeteries and memorials of veterans, uplifting stops at schools, USA! and for the first time in the history of the parade, an inspirational tribute at the Statue of Liberty. The Reese Cross America mission is remember the fallen, honor those that are serving and their families, and teaching the children the value of our freedom. The escort at the stops incorporates all three. I mean, it might be a stop at a town green or a town memorial and we present a wreath because there may be children there wondering why we're stopping. There may be current military servant assisting in the ceremony or it just may be that we're honoring the past veterans of that town. After the accidental start of this tradition 22 years ago, support for the cause grew tremendously. In 1992, uh, our family company was to wreath. Um, we had a surplus of wreaths, about 5,000 wreaths, and uh, Marl recalled a trip as a paper boy that he made to Arlington, and uh, he just thought that it would be a nice gesture of thank you from the family to put the wreaths on the grave. It started out as an accident, but once they went down and, and went through the motions of putting the wreaths on the graves and reading the names, and it, it touched him so that when he came home, he said, you know, we're always going to do this. We're trying to shake out the last numbers, and I think we're going to be at around between 535 and 540,000 wreaths that will be placed and almost 140,000 reeds going to Arlington, so it's, it's incredible. The Worcesters hope next year they will be able to put a wreath on every grave at Arlington, and the volunteers hope people will keep remembering, honoring, and teaching about those who have fallen for our freedom. Reporting for the 121st Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Sergeant Allison Pelletier.